All right, gonna do a quick follow-up video. So I apologize. I have not yet done a video to show you guys how well this returns to zero. That's because it's been hammering. And I have my club matches, uh, the finale, to go to. So I didn't want to interrupt a good thing. But I did buy the switch barrel for the ease to be able to clean and also to change barrels with no problem. So let's back out these set screws. Pause real quick. Okay, so we're back resumed. And you know, honestly, if I can record with one hand we'll take the barrel off with the uh, other I'm going to call this a win well a win for now because part of the point of this setup is we're not supposed to uh, or the user is supposed to be able to take the barrel off without interrupting uh, your point of aim by more than a quarter minute and I'll throw a a picture in uh, to show you how well this has been shooting with the uh, Hornady 108 ELD match we're getting I don't know maybe half minute and with Prime 107 which don't give me hate right now. I can't find ammo other than that. Uh, I'm getting about 0.46 MOA. So I'm going to take this barrel off and just show you. Oh, you know what? Forgot to take the bolt out because I realize you guys don't know if it's clear and safe, and that's reasonable. So let's uh, see if I can. Yep. I don't know if you can tell, but that very well-made Southern Precision Rifles barrel is outstanding. I mean, it just twisted off. So, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you, hey, I'm not even all, all that strong. Because when I was, before I got real serious into the, you know, PRS style matches, I was lifting some fairly heavy weight and then I hurt my neck and now I don't do that nearly as much but it did not take much force to get this barrel off let's see how it looks after I think I've got 400 and something rounds down that tube but I'm trying to okay it's a little bit dirty so I'm going to clean it out with uh CLR. We'll be back. Okay, so there's the non-barreled action all assembled. And here is my uh, barrel. Took off my heathen muzzle brake. And I know somebody's going to say, man, you're going to discolor it probably. Don't necessarily care though. Um, it is what it is. So I'm gonna get this CLR all in my chamber. Now you can see that I really do want to get it in there. And then one, what I do, so I take this J Dewey rod, best rod. Um, it was my birthday. I turned. Oh, hang on. I'll show you guys. Turned 40 this week. Sorry. It's not what you came for. But I'm going to take this J Dewey rod. And you know what? If somebody has some constructive uh, feedback in the comments, please do so. I'm sure somebody's going to say, why don't you have a board guide? Hmm. Why don't I have a bore guide? I'm not going to use one. I'm going to use the rod, the brush, 
I'm going to do 10 passes with the bronze brush. Then I'm going to <clears throat> wipe out the barrel um, until it's clean. That's how I do it. We'll come back. So I've made a pass. We're going to let this sit about, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes. We're six minutes into the video, roughly. And I'm probably going to edit out a little bit because, you know, it's what I do. Uh, but I'm going to let it sit about 10 minutes and I'm going to brush it. Like I said, we're going to do about 10, uh, 10 passes with the brush backward and forward. So I guess that's like, you know, 10 uh, cycles of the brush. And then we're going to wipe out until it cleans. Okay, so we'll resume the video. I don't know if you can tell, but that barrel, and I'm sorry, I don't have a four scope. The barrel and chamber is pretty clean. It's kind of hard to tell with the shadows, but yeah, it's clean in there. It's pretty good. Um, here's the back end of it all right now I'm gonna clean off the lugs all right, so now it took about 20 passes of the cotton swab again just as on my installation video I go counterclockwise should hear there we go so you'll hear mechanical interference then I screw it on and you'll hear it shoulder See if we can hear it. I'm gonna set it on this bag. There we go. Okay, pause it. Okay, I think this is our 5 16 wrench. Gonna Gonna just snug it up, both sides. You can come up top and record that. Thank you. It's hard to do with one hand. Okay, so I'm gonna get to where it's touching both sides. This video may not end up being bright enough. Yeah, it's a little dark to see. Okay. Let's do it over here. This is on that side. Pause. Okay, so got this all finished and cleaned up. I'm gonna let you guys know how the uh, if there's any zero shift. Um, it does make it a very easy process to clean the lugs inside so I'll follow up with that info let me know if you got any questions uh, make sure you drop a comment but this is probably the easiest rifle I've ever had the pleasure of cleaning so I'll follow up with you guys thanks